So I thought I'd just do a little short video on the rubber flares um, that we put on the guards and on the back um, when we whack the wider wider offset rims on. So these are the 75mm rubber flares. Um, I got these from Outback Equipment. I think they cost me about um, 90 bucks for the set of four, which was two pieces at about three meters, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it was pretty close to that. Um, so these here, I've just used flathead screws just to up underneath there. You can just see them, it's pretty dirty. I've been for a bit of a trip, probably could have washed it, but anyway. And they're just screwed into that. Mine is a is a narrow body um, Pajero, Gen 2 Pajero NK. Now when you get these things and you go to put them on and you try to get them nice and neat and symmetrical around the guard so they you know so they fold or they don't fold but they the contour is smooth. If you know if you don't get them they take on properly it takes ages they go all floppy they look shit house they just you know like this and whatever else and like that and they just look rubbish and I was poking around with them and look probably a million people know this but I didn't know it I just thought a bit of a tip for, for rookies like me is that in these flares actually in this part here they have a little hole and I thought, well, I might just grab a coat hanger and stick a coat hanger in there and then I can form a nice contour. And uh, as I say, I might be telling a lot of people stuff they already know, but so what happens here is I just got myself some coat hangers, just some steel coat hangers. And uh, I've just poked them in and then it just slides up, slides in. Probably it's a bit hard to do with one hand, but and one with one hand on the camera. And uh, you got to probably use two hands to manipulate that because you need to you need to give this a bit of a, a work around as you do it. Um, just do it little bit by little bit. As I say, you really need two hands. But what you get is. You get the drift with that, right? So I'll push that up in a minute. There's the coat hanger wire and it's just slipping up into this hole here. What you end up with is, is you end up with good looking contours around, because you can bend the wire to whatever, whatever contour you want. So, and you get rid of all of those little floppy bits. What I'll do is I'll pause it and I'll push it back in and then I'll start again and show you the end result of that one yeah so there we go um i've pushed it all right in you can see and there's the so you usually just snip it off there with a pair of pliers or whatever and i've manipulated that contour and now if you look at that that's perfect fits on there nicely anyway just a short one if you're putting them on and wondering how you can fix these bits up so you can just manipulate it and it stays where you want it to stay just with, by hand because it's steel it gives it that stiffness around the edge and the wire just because it because it wants to stay straight because you put it in straight don't bend it just put it in straight because it wants to yeah stay straight it gives you a nice contour